Triple triangle frame sets are one of the most polarizing designs in the bike world. Once you look at a triple triangle bike, you immediately know whether you love it or whether you hate it, and there usually isn't much of an in-between. But Jaston Rodriguez from Oklahoma City is one of those people that loves the triple triangle. Now let's take a closer look at his dream bike, a Vendetta Triplet, and see what the pros and cons are for the iconic triple triangle design in this fixed gear bike check. He wants to go. You can do it! Yeah! Just trying to figure out a way to monetize this dog. <laughs> According to my YouTube stats, about 54% of you that watch my videos aren't actually subscribed to the channel. So if you want to see more of Seymour, he's right here, <laughs> and more fixed gear videos just like this one, like me taking Seymour out for his first bike ride, do yourself a favor, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon and the like button so you can watch more fixed gear videos just like this one. Subscribing is totally free and you can unsubscribe at any time. A portion of this video was sponsored by Wobby Cycles. To learn more about the only bike that I own and the one that I ride on a daily basis, Stick around until the end of the video to learn more about them. The iconic triple triangle design was first created by a British frame builder, Fred Helens, in 1923. That's a cool 49 years before today's most prevalent triple triangle bike maker, GT Bikes, was even created. Harkening back to the design's original creator, the triple triangle frame set is also referred to as Hellenic Seat Stays. I wasn't able to find any photos of those original Fred Helen's frames, and the only source that I was able to find for everything that I've said up to this point is Sheldon Brown but if Sheldon said it, it must be correct. The triple triangle design has remained one of the most recognizable in cycling, for better or for worse, with GT Bikes, the biggest triple triangle bike maker, bringing the design to the masses. In the fixed gear world, GT, GTB frames, that is general track bike, are still one of the most sought after for their stiffness, durability, rarity, and general badassery. Although GT no longer produces the GTB for us track and fixed gear riders, companies like Taiwan's Break Break 17, may they rest in peace, and Peru's Vendetta have carried on the triple triangle track bike torch for the few of us that can't get enough of those tasty Hellenic seat stays. Vendetta, the new triple triangle track bike on the block, comes complete with touches of craftsmanship that'll leave anyone that doesn't outright think the design is an eyesore drooling over it. Other than looks to kill, one of the supposed benefits of a triple triangle is a tighter, stiffer rear triangle for more responsive acceleration. And yes, I just grabbed all of those buzzwords from GT's website. It's easy to see why the Vendetta triplet has been gaining traction amongst fixed gear riders in recent years as they lean hard into that more stiff equals more responsive equals more better philosophy that the triple triangle brings to the table. Built with oversized round 4130 chromo tubing to keep the bike feeling tight without making it overreactive, handmade in Lima, Peru, it's easy to see the love and attention to detail that goes into producing a Vendetta triplet from the tidy TIG whales, angles that make standard track geometry look like beach cruisers, and an apparent love for steel with an engraved head tube and raw flamed finish to proudly showcase the material's ever-developing depth and personality, reflecting each rider's unique riding styles. Meaning in plain, non-hipstery English, it rusts, but hipsters like that. Opponents of the triple triangle design and all things fun are often quick to point out that while, yes, triple triangle frames do look super dope, they do come with a lot of drawbacks though. And the late and great Sheldon Brown's words are, of no practical value and often cause unnecessary complications. The standard diamond bike frame is often considered the pinnacle of traditional bike design. Some would say it's perfect, and if you modify that perfection, you'll just make it worse. And while I do love triple triangle bikes, there is some truth to that sentiment. While triple triangles are supposedly stiffer, we can argue about that tenuous benefit until the cows come home. Dribble triangle frames way more since they have longer seat stays. And the fact that they attach to both the top tube and seat tube instead of a simpler 
traditional C cluster makes them more work and more expensive to produce. And the sharper angle for those seats days can make cable routing for a rear brake look sloppy. So much for the triple triangles dashing good looks. Those short, sharp seat stays can also complicate attaching a rear rack. Not to mention the third triangle takes up valuable real estate for frame pumps and frame bags. Not a good design if you're bike packing or otherwise need to carry stuff on your bike. But on the bright side, literally, you can now mount a taillight to the exposed bit of seat tube, unobstructed by the brake bridge and now obstructed by the rear wheel. Hmm. But at least that taillight position is now lower and less visible than just mounting it on the seat post like normal. Wait, that, that's not a good thing either. Oh, that's right. Fixed gear riders can't be bothered with such frivolities as rear racks, frame bags, and rear brakes. And in that case, we're free to reap the triple triangle frames benefits and build bikes that look super dope. And Jazzton Rodriguez accomplished exactly that, pairing his steel triple triangle triplet with a carbon crew fork that presumably came off his previous bike that he describes as a tricked out Honda Accord. <laughs> is this bike trying to be stiffer than a low pro rider's neck, or is it trying to be a croissant weighted climber? Invalid question. It's built to look cool. Up at the cockpit, we have a set of Zip Service Course 70 Ergo Drops, measuring it at a shoulder-pleasing 440 millimeters wide, wrapped in shellac, New Bombs cloth tape, and lime green, making the bars reminiscent of a concerningly large gummy worm. The bars are capped off with tasty aluminum nitto bar ends and topped off with a nog blinder and a spur cycle bow because pedestrians still haven't figured out that on your left means I'm coming on your left and not please directly veer to your left. Keep the cockpit sturdy, comfortable, and versatile like the frame set. The bars are connected to a zero degree Thompson X4 stem for a generous rise without veering into Fred territory. A thoroughly sat on 1990 Cell Italia flight saddle with titanium rails for maximum conversation piece points is perched on a stem matched Thompson Elite setback. To keep the ride going, even through beds of glass hidden by snow, we have a Skin Grows Back Plan B saddlebag in a colorway that I can only describe as sour gummy worm tying in with the handlebars. Meanwhile, on the C-Tube, we have a rear nog blinder that's positioned there to make sure that everyone knows this is indeed a triple triangle bike, regardless of what angle you look at it from. Moving down, the pedals are Shimano M520 SPDs for feeling one with the bike or whatever. The cranks are the endangered Tram Omniums attached to a Philwood GXP to make these cranks rideable and not feel like your bearings are lubricated with sand. For the gearing, we have a 50 tooth bespoke X Deluxe Cycles chain ring paired with the 17 tooth EAI gold metal cog, which are made specifically for Olympic cyclists, showing everyone that you're prone to blowing large sums of money on things that look cool. The true way to build a fixed gear. The drivetrain is strung together with the ever ball in Azumi Super Toughness chain, which I recently put on my bike. And boy, let me tell you, is it fun to see how upset people get when they see that Izumi screw-in master link. Feel free to let me and everyone who rides an Izumi super toughness with a master link know how big of reckless idiots we are that are eventually going to die from a snapped chain in the comments below, where your comments will promptly be ignored. Rounding out the build, we have the Honda Civic of track wheels, H plus on archetypes, laced to sealed bearing formula hubs, cost effective, reliable, pretty good looking, and reasonably fun. The tires are Panaracer Gravel Kings in a purple and tan finish to complete the gummy worm accenting, and a semi chub 32C for reliable traction for riding through that white stuff falling from the sky. Triple triangle frame sets encapsulate the driving force behind fixed gear riding. Cons you can't mount stuff, the rear brake routing sucks, they're heavier, they're more expensive, the benefits are dubious at best. Pros they look pretty cool. Even when breaking down the benefits and the drawbacks of triple triangles logically, we've come full circle. When you see one, you immediately know whether you love it or hate it. Ride one if you love it because damn it, it's cool and life is too short to always be making the sensible and responsible decisions. Because if that were the case, we should all just drive cars or ride public transportation instead of riding bikes. So I say double down on that fixie philosophy and ride whatever excites you even if it makes no sense. If you want to have your bike featured in this weekly bike check series, you can find the instructions on how to do just that 
in the description. Speaking of bikes that you should check out, this portion of the video is sponsored by Wabi Cycles. Every one of Wabi's design choices are meticulously made to give the purest ride quality for the money. And Wabi executes those choices perfectly. Hands made by master craftsmen in Taiwan and a friendly bike shop in Denver, Colorado that's eager to answer your questions and get you on a bike you'll love. Wabi's relentless attention to detail makes Wallace my 58 centimeter Wabi special weigh in at a slight 17.5 pounds or 7.97 kilograms straight out of the box. That's well under 20 pounds for a stock bike with a completely steel lugged frame set and absolutely no carbon components. This attention to detail results in the best riding experience I've ever had with a snappy, lively ride quality that only top tier steel can bring. If you're looking for a bike that can very well put an end to your search for the perfect bike, check out Wabi Cycles linked at the top of the description. And if you can be patient, wait until May for Purple Wabi Specials to make those nearly perfect bikes all that much more perfect. And Fixie Famous shoutouts to Brandon Black, Kelvin Jose, and Kolnick OC Bike Crew, Ryan Witt, Stan Strong 108, Julian Corona, David Clippins, Ellie Lovelace, oh my gosh, this list is getting long, and Justin Javier for helping to make these fixed gear videos possible through their support on Patreon. And remember, life is short, but don't make it shorter, so ride your bike every day to be reasonably dangerous, even if it is a triple triangle, because dang it, it's fun.